What up guys, it's James. And Sam. And today we're gonna show you some Corner One coffee. Let's check it out. So Corner One Coffee sent this in for review. They are an Amazon product and they have, it says fair trade, USD organic and carbon neutral. So we have the breakfast blend, which is their medium roast. They also sent their medium dark roast, which is the signature. And then we've got the French roast, which is the darkest roast that they offer. So we're gonna show you guys how to prepare it at home. Let's try it out. All right, so one thing that I do have to say I like about Corner One is that these beans actually come whole. Whenever you fresh grind your beans, you're gonna find that you'll have a lot fresher and more flavorful of a cup of coffee rather than having pre-ground. We're gonna go ahead and put these at about a medium grind. All right, so now that I've got my freshly ground coffee, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little pour over. This is a Bialetti model. We really like this. James's dad actually got this for us. I've got my filter all set, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the grinds straight in. So the reason why you use a goose kettle, this little kettle allows you to really uh, kind of direct the water where to go exactly. So you're gonna go into little circles here and you just pour a little bit in a circle. If you pour too much, the water's gonna go around the side and it won't go through the coffee. So, and you want this to be right around like 205 degrees or so, like just off of boil. When it comes to pour over coffee, a lot of people debate the different ratios based off of weight. That's why you see these under scales a lot of times, but for, mo for the most part, I've seen one to 15, one to 16 ratios. So one part coffee to, you know, 15 or 16 parts uh, actual water. So this is actually set up pretty well. So if this is full, then this is full. That's kind of how I how I know it. It's pretty close. It doesn't have to be rocket science. If you have good coffee, you're gonna have great uh, a great result result anyway. Cheers. It's not bad. It's pretty light. Mm -hmm. So the idea with pour over is that you don't really need to add sugar or cream or anything like that because it is lighter in body, and you can just enjoy the nuances of the actual coffee. So. Or if you're like me, you can add some creamer anyway. Now, a lot of people are not coffee nerds like me. I roast my own coffee in the garage, and in the summertime, it's super hot, it takes time. So it's really nice having, you know, just one click of a button and it's here in two days from Amazon Prime. Again, this is fair trade, organic, carbon neutral, so it checks all of my boxes. All right, so next up, we have the French roast, which is the darkest roast that they offer. This is gonna be really good for something like a French press, figure that. French rose, French press. So on this one, you actually wanna go a really coarse grind. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on the coarsest setting. A few minutes later. We put the cover on so that it would retain heat a little better. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press this out. You do kinda wanna go nice and slow. That'll help to ensure that all the grounds really make it to the bottom. A little bit darker, um, but I don't know. Not my favorite personally, but what do you think? Yeah, I think it's good. I like a little bit darker of a roast. This is a little too dark for me, but I like drinking my coffee iced and I put like some stevia and coconut milk. So by the time those things are in there, I think I do like a darker roast because you're still getting a lot of strong coffee flavor, even once the other like kind of little sweeteners and things are added. You like yours so. uh, cold brew, right? Yeah, my definitely my favorite way to make coffee is cold brew because I feel like it's very smooth, it's not bitter at all, and I'm drinking coffee iced like 95% of the time anyway, so yeah, I love a good cold brew. So for the signature roast, I'm gonna show you guys how I make espresso with it. It might not be fresh enough to just use without a double, a dual wall basket. So sometimes coffee, when it's not fresh enough, we use dual wall baskets to kind of overcompensate. But let's try it out. So as you can tell, the espresso came out pretty nice. It was running through the, the porta filter a little fast because it wasn't super freshly roasted, but tastes pretty good. The crema looks pretty nice in there as well. And if I were to use the dual basket like this one right here, it would have a, a, a lot better back pressure. So it would actually uh, extract the coffee much better with one of these. But as you can tell, it's still a pretty good espresso. Maybe if I adjusted the grind a little bit, I could get better results as well. Still, still pretty good. As you can see, the different coffees, uh, their color is actually 
pretty similar. The French roast is obviously the darkest, but the signature and the breakfast blend are the most similar. I would say the breakfast just has a little bit more zing to it, but even on camera, it's hard to tell them apart. All right, guys, so that is it for our review of Corner One Coffee. As you can tell, this is a pretty versatile coffee. We've got three different blends. You can make it any way that you like, and you can make your perfect cup of coffee. So go ahead and drop a comment below. Let us know which out of the three coffees would you choose? What would be your preferred method of making it? And then the first 15 who comment, we're actually gonna go ahead and give away a free bag of Corner One coffee, courtesy of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop that comment below and we'll see y'all in the next video. Medium roast, which is their breakfast, blah, blah, blah. So we were, Oh my gosh, all of Corner One Coffee's coffee, coffee's coffee. All right guys, so that is it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I got to see that in my throat. <clears> throat> yeah, it's fight. Ready for a good action shot? Go ahead and 